Hi guys, hello, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Martina and in today's video I would love to share with you something that I love making very very much. I think is so fun to make but also such a fun thing to use and so versatile you can then use it to make multiple other things and what I'm talking about is of course collage masterboards. So I already have a few videos with collage masterboards on my channel where we make them and use them but I kind of realized that I've never made, made like a whole you know basics video where I explain what it is, what you can use to make it, what you can use, what are the different uses that you can then um, use your master boards for. And so I thought today I would make like a first part of a collage master boards mini series. This is going to be two or three videos about collage master boards and today I want to share with you what you can use in collage master boards and how to make them and just you know uh, with junk journaling and with paper crafting I always like to say use what you already have so you probably have all the things you need uh, to create a collage master board and I'm just going to give you some ideas not everything that I have here has to be on the master board you can choose pick what you like what you have um, what would look nice I just want to give you some ideas and then we will make some collage master boards and in the next video we are going to be using them uh, cutting them up I will show you how to use them and also how to further decorate them to make them stand out even more. Okay, so what you can use in your collage master boards. First of all, I would say paper is the basis of the collage master boards that I made. So I have here loads of little scraps of papers. I never throw them away. I have some vintage piano paper, I have some digitals, I have some book pages, I even have some vintage envelope bags um, that we used to we use the fronts of these in one of the previous videos. Um, and yeah, I just think they are so nice. They have this nice texture and nice color. What else do I have? I have some more envelopes. <laughs> I have some uh, coffee or tea stained paper, just a long scrap like this that you can tear into smaller pieces. I have some vintage or antique music paper uh, in two colors actually. So two or three colors, yeah. So you can see uh, that these are two different colors. I have more scraps from like digital prints. I have vellum. I love using vellum or tracing paper. What else do we have here? I have some color papers, so it's some patterned papers, and these can be either scrapbooking paper or digital papers. These particular backgrounds come from my kit Woodland Wonders, and because I am making a collection of journals with them, I want to also use them in this collage master board to add a pop of color. I like my collage master boards to be kind of neutral because I want to add some focal points then when we cut them up to tags and to um, journaling cards and pockets. I want to add maybe some flowers or some mushrooms, some focal point. So I usually opt for more neutral papers, but I definitely love a pop of color. So this is what I'm going to be using these for. And I also, as you can see, these are just backgrounds, so there are no like print, printed, I don't know, flowers or mushrooms on these papers because we are going to be adding them afterwards. I also have a vintage book page or a vintage book actually. I got this 
a very old and pretty much uh, destroyed dictionary on Etsy a long time ago and I love it so much. It's so gorgeous. It has a very beautiful patina paper. The color is stunning and yeah, I just love dictionary papers. So use any um, textbook pages that you love and I would say that dictionaries uh, encyclopedias and also index pages of old book uh, old books make for me the most interesting papers to use in projects like this when uh, where you <clears throat> excuse me where you just need some nice text in the background um, also while we are talking about paper <clears throat> let me show you guys so while I am using vintage papers and I am using or trying <clears throat> to use kind of neutral colors, I also have this, I want them still to be different tones of vintage. So as you can see, this book page is the darkest. So then I have this beautiful music paper, which is much lighter. So when I use those alongside, they won't blend into each other. Then I have this page, which has a completely different color. And also my music paper also have a slightly different tone and I think, let me see, do I have maybe one more book page? I should have, oh, I have this one. This is, <laughs> I've of course taken the cover off this book, but this is like a vintage Polish book about herbs and flowers. And so look at this color, you guys. This is the lightest yet. It's still different than this. And this is like a little dictionary here and I should have an index. I do. So maybe I will take a page or two out of this book as well to have all the different points of vintage. So that's for the paper. Like I said, even the tiniest scraps will look great. I never throw them away because I know that there will be time when I want to use these. What else you can use? <clears throat> I have here some postage stamps. These were very kindly gifted to me, but postage stamps or vintage tickets would be absolutely amazing. Look at how, wow, this is a Polish stamp. How cute is this with this little painting? But look at them, guys. They are so fun and so beautiful to use. Oh, this is so cute from the Netherlands. <laughs> I love it. Um, and they again offer a kind of a pop of color. So I would definitely like to use those and also a different texture because of course stamps are already kind of like perforated on the edges. So this is always, always so fun. Okay. The next thing I have here is scraps of fabric and laces. And this is something that you may like or you may not like to add to your collage masterboards. I like it because you guys know that I always like different textures. I like my projects to be very tactile. So I have some um, scraps of fabrics and scraps of, well, leaf trim which I love um, and yeah I would definitely consider adding them on top of the paper to just kind of mix and match different textures and different um, types of things that you add to the master board. I think these would look absolutely great. I also have stamps um, and these also were very kindly gifted to me so you see, just um, just like a text stamp or some image stamps added on top of your paper collage and preferably across a few pieces, it will just make everything come together very nicely. And um, yeah, I just love using stamps and these are amazing. I'm so happy to have those. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sophie. They were gifted to me by Sophie. What, what else do I have? I have washi tape. Washi tape, again, can add either a pop of color or 
a nice vintage look and a different texture yet again. So washi tape is a great, great thing to use in your collage master boards. I'm just checking my notes. Did I want to share anything else? Vintage book paper, scraps of papers. Okay, so I think I've covered some basics and there is of course more. You can use stickers, so washi tape and stickers. You can use stamps and heat emboss them. This is something I've done in the past as well. Um, you can make your uh, you can make your ephemera, uh, not ephemera, you can make your collage master boards either very flat with just using paper and washi tape and stuff like that, or you can make it more, more dimensional using fabrics, using lace, using um, kind of like thicker stickers. Um, so there is really like, oh, I also have something here. This gorgeous burlap um, would also look so beautiful added here and there on the collage master boards. So I would say there is no limit. And here I only have kind of like papery things, but you can also make a collage master board with mixed media. And this is kind of something I would like to cover next in one of the future videos where we would use various mixed media such as paints, such as um, gesso and um, collaging with mix, mixing collaging with mixed media and um, we would make master boards this way. So this is um, something for the future videos. But now let me quickly tell you what you can use to make a master board, kind of like your basis. And here again, you can use anything, you guys. So for instance, I have this packing paper and I would definitely cut it into smaller pieces and use it as my master board. And then I would either leave the back like this or um, glue something on the back as well. So you can use packing paper, you can use old envelopes, you can use old book pages and that just kind of, um, you know, have them and collage across all of them. But what I prefer to use, because I am using my collage master boards for tags or journaling cards, and I like my tags and journaling cards to be more stiff, more not so flimsy, you know, not so soft. Like the paper, the packing paper that I showed you, it's very soft, so this would be like a flimsy journaling card. And what I like to use is cardstock. So I can either use a white cardstock and just collage on both sides or what I'm going to be using today is scrapbooking cardstock. So I have this paper pack which is full of beautiful papers but they are one-sided and so I don't like to use them in my journals because then I would have to do something with this side because I don't white I don't, I don't white I don't like to have uh, plain white pages in my jur junk journals so I prefer to use these for um, like projects like this so I would collage on the other side or um, I do something like that and look at this you guys this has some ledger paper imprint and so if I collage on this side the white side and then cut my journaling cards from this side they will already have some lines uh, which are going to be perfect for journaling so I would choose oh this too this is so pretty so I would choose papers like this maybe actually these two for starters and by the way the paper pad that I am uh, that I have here is the primrose from die cuts with the view and i got it on amazon okay it's really pretty but like i said one-sided paper i just have sometimes trouble with using in my journals so i'm always trying to find ways where i can use it but i will not um, lose the image that is already here now let me cut of this um, white strip here and also the 
the little circle. I don't need it. That simply I have my master boards ready or my bases for my master boards. Also, one more thing I kind of forgot to say, but that I absolutely love to use in uh, collage master boards is labels. So I have here, I just reprinted a ton of Tracy Fox love junk journals on Etsy uh, labels and I print them kind of in two sizes so this is the size they come in the full page A4 size and then I also print them two per page to have those tiny ones but these bigger ones look at this you guys how fun would these be to add to a collage master boards and these there are some this, these are random sciency labels from her shop and this is um, her little logo this is so cute but anyway <laughs> um, these large ones i have sometimes trouble with using them because i am crafting with smaller smaller materials and these would just be too big on what I usually collage but they are so perfect to use in collage master boards so and then when you cut your pieces to like journaling cards then sometimes you end up with like half of this label which is so fun I love this look so I have a lot of labels here I'm going to spend today's evening probably or tomorrow's cutting them all out but I have them here and I want to just as we go cut some of these out and use them in my collage master board as well okay guys so now let's do it what i usually start with and you've you would uh, see it probably before if you have been here with me on my channel for a while is i like to have some torn papers to choose from before I start collaging. So I'm not going to start with one page and then uh, I'm going to tear this piece and then add another and look for another. I like to have choices, by the way, this looks great here. <laughs> um, anyway, so I am going to look at my papers. Actually, I like this big size of the collage master board because those large papers fit perfectly here but i also can have and want to have some smaller ones so let me take a few book pages and i'm just choosing the ones without images or with images that i'm not very interested in using in some other project because these little illustrations here are so sweet this is what is this webster's practical illustrated dictionary of atlas of the world oh yes it does have stunning stunning maps i am just like i'm hoarding this i you guys i've had this book for like over two years i think it's one of the first supplies that i got for my junk journaling and yeah i just don't I do it. oh and it has this handwritten note here this book is personal property to second lieutenant helmet someone and the date is 3rd of may 1945 which is quite amazing quite amazing okay anyway so i have this also then these papers i'm going to be tearing here i already have awesome scraps to use but this one is also a bigger piece and i have this music paper which i also can tear for tearing my papers and i like tearing instead of cutting them because i don't really like very straight edges like this so or this here so i am taking my tear ruler this is um i got it on amazon it's from joy crafts the brand is joy crafts and um i love it it's like my favorite supply um i'm going to take a sip of water and now 
I can start tearing. So from these for these papers, it's best to do it on a flat surface actually. So let me move this aside. So on these papers, I'm just going to tear little borders. Although I love this coloring, so maybe I will leave this. Uh, and this could be like the edge of my collage master board. I'm going to tear it in half. Why not? So we have two pieces. Now for this, I again first want to tear the edge. So it's nice, nice and ragged. Mm -hmm. And then let me just tear some larger pieces. So another tip is I like to first cover my page, my white blank page which is staring at me and intimidating me. <laughs> I like to cover it with bigger pieces and then I love to go back to this collage and collage on top of these larger pieces using some small small pieces, small scraps, because it adds dimension, it adds uh, layering, adds yet again texture, my favorite word of today's video, and not just today's I guess. <laughs> um, I am leaving this, these little scraps, maybe we will use them later. So here I'm going to be putting these here. Let me add maybe this one also. I would add some bigger pieces. It's such a fast way to collage when you first cover this intimidating blank space with all sorts of bigger pieces that you have and then you go back and you collage upon it. I love it. I also love the effect that it gives. And you guys hopefully will see what I mean in a moment when we start to collage. edges from this. Let's make it a little bit like that and we have those cute scraps here. Uh, then I think I would like to maybe cut this piece page a little bit. Not cut of course but tear and then I want to turn Turn edges here. Mm -hmm, this is stunning. <laughs> so stunning. Now it already has a nice ragged edge on this side. So we are going to leave it. Mm -hmm. Maybe one more this time. I think I will go for two taller pieces and of course if some of these pieces are too big when I'm collaging or they just don't fit anywhere then I am going to tear them down um, to smaller pieces or just leave them for the next project. That, uh, that's okay. I work a lot with scraps. I love working with scraps. So these are not going to be wasted. Okay, you guys, I think we can start. So let me see this direction. Let me start. Like I said, let's start with the bigger pieces. So I have this um, page from like a music sheet. And you guys, one more thing, because I know sometimes um, people can get upset when you have a collage and then you collage over it and you cover up some of the pieces that you've put. But it is all 
the it's all part of the project so you put layers and you enjoy it i hope you enjoy it i enjoy it i enjoy it very much just putting on layers of papers and scraps of papers and yes i will cover some of them up when i am adding a second layer or i will cover them up when I add the focal points but that's okay for me I've made my peace with it <laughs> and so I hope you can see that too and um, you know just enjoy adding papers to your collage master boards or pieces to your collage master boards I think um, it's just it's so th therapeutic and also so fun so I'm going to make a very loose kind of composition here and I'm also not too worried I think with these envelopes I also want to tear at least these straight edges so I'm also not worried if some of my scraps are going over the master board because I can trim them all later so <clears throat> which side I, pre I prefer this side so this one could go here perhaps then we have a nice book page with the ragged edge i love it and also the color is so beautiful and i'm thinking maybe one more pop of color somewhere on this side and let's say here so i'm very loosely arranging the pieces that i have to see where i have oh this is oh i wanted it for the edge so i could perhaps maybe add this here and then this one here yeah so I can see, you know, where I have um, those blank spaces. Oh, I didn't cut any of those. I could use, or I didn't tear, sorry. <laughs> I could use this page right now. So see what I mean? I like to have a choice and just put pages on paper because usually when I start doing this, I don't have enough space to cut Cut. I say cut all the time, oh my goodness, to tear papers anymore, so it's much more comfortable for me to have some beforehand. What else could I use here? Um, I had some of this tea stained paper, did I not? Here it is. And I was thinking maybe of using it like a tall piece, but how about I just I just use it here and it could go underneath here. So I pretty much wouldn't need to tear these two edges. Okay, now I like what we have here, but don't worry, we are going to be adding more. This is just the basis and I am going to, I like to uh, ink the edges of my papers as you guys probably know if you've watched any of my videos with Tim Holtz's or Ranger's District, Distress Oxide or Distress Ink in Vintage Photo and I like separate pieces to stand out but if you don't that's totally fine there are crafters out there who don't ink at all and I said it I think once before in a video I love their projects so much they look beautiful without inking but then when I try to recreate them and make something without inking I don't like it I don't I don't I don't know maybe this is kind of like an OCD thing by this by by this point that I just need to have inked edges or I won't be able to sleep at night <laughs> no just joking of course please don't think I'm this crazy <laughs> okay so I'm only inking uh, these kind of inside edges and also the edges that I believe may be visible from behind 
uh, other edges of that. Okay, so this one, the bottom here. What else? I think that should be it. This book page is just beautiful as it is and I'm also going to be collaging or not. Maybe let me ink this little edge here as well and I'm going to put it on the top. Excuse me. So now that we have our rough um, oops, our rough composition, we can start gluing things down. And the adhesive, you can use any adhesive that you have on hand. So I think I the only one that I would not recommend is wet glue, especially if you are working with vintage papers. This is so thin and also those vintage papers are often rather porous. So the glue sips right into it and you can see it on the, on the other side, which is not very pretty. But glue stick, double-sided tape, those work well. I am myself using a glue stick. And um, also, you guys know I like machine stitching, so I am never worried too much when some corner or something is sticking out because I am going to go through everything with my sewing machine afterwards or when we cut it into tags. So I am starting with the piece that is on the bottom. Oh, and maybe I actually like this side a little bit more. Hmm. Hmm. No, let's stick with this. They're both beautiful. Okay, so I know, I know I'm going a bit off camera with this gluing, but my desk unfortunately isn't that big so that I can fit everything here. So, this piece goes here. Okay, gorgeous. Now I'm thinking this one is the second piece that I want to use because I am then going to glue other pieces overlapping this one. So this is our first pop of color. Now I need to make sure this is high enough that my book page is going to be on top of this here. Alrighty, so then this is what we had and I'm thinking maybe this one now or this, this, then we have the, okay, now the book page. So this one is very delicate so I am going to try to be very gentle with it so I don't tear it. Although if I do, that's okay because I can still glue the pieces to the Collage Master board. It's not going to be a problem at all. Okay. Like that. Now I'm thinking this one is the next I want to glue. somewhere here on the edge and this one is going to go like that okay we are going to have a little bit of white here but that's totally fine we will cover it with a smaller piece so that's also nice about doing it in a few layers that you can always cover up any white spots or any mistakes or any really any part of your collage master boards that maybe you don't like that much and it just does not look the way you you wanted it to look okay now how did i want these i'm thinking maybe Maybe like that. Mm -hmm. So I am 
going to ink this part here because this one is going to be to be visible So how are you guys doing? Are you are you okay? Are you creating? Are you enjoying the summer? We thankfully have a few this way, okay. A few um, well that would be Zuja, I'm not sure if you heard her. Uh, we thankfully had a or have are having a few cooler days so uh, it's still very hot in our apartment but you know we can go to our little garden or go for walks with Zuzia and it's actually pleasurable and not like a torture like it was in the heat so I can finally I feel like I can finally rest, if you know what I mean. I was just so, I, f I was feeling so tired and so restless at the same time uh, during those hot, hot days. Hmm? Like this. And I think I want it here. Okay, you guys. So, here is what we have so far i am liking it very much i love this kind of this section here so next what i would like to do is i would like to add some smaller pieces and to kind of match everything together to make sure everything fits together i would like to add some of the same pieces that we already have so I'm going to position them, you know, like this. You know the um, the golden rule of collage is three to have three of something, which I don't always go by. <laughs> to be to be completely honest with you, I definitely don't. But um, when I can, I like to. So I'm going to add this little piece to cover this white space. Where is my tearing ruler? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that. What else? Um, I would love a piece of this book page. So let me cut some of this, uh, tear some, <laughs> some of this index. and maybe add a piece of this here like I said I really love when my um, pieces kind of overlap so instead of putting it somewhere here which would look great too but this kind of overlaps on four pieces which I really like it kind of makes things seem more, I don't know, like they belong together, perhaps. Maybe this way. Uh, what else? Um, oh, where's my pen? Here it is. <laughs> How about this? Yeah, I think, I think I like that. Okay, so you guys, let me glue what we have so far and then we are going to go with smaller and smaller pieces as we move along so like i said this is such a relaxing and therapeutic process just tearing papers inking them around gluing them on pages <laughs> I love this and this is such a good way to use your scraps because if you are like me and I'm sure a lot of you have the same problem your scrap problem it's 
a nice problem to have, of course. But your scrap scraps that keeps multiplying and <laughs> I don't know, I need to I'm thinking of, by the way, I'm thinking of doing this like Organize With Me series on my channel because my everything, my everything, I just, I don't know what I wanted to say, everything that I have here and I use for my creative work is just, uh, it's kind of getting out of hand. Um, I have to do something about it because... You guys, I am. Um, I can barely take a few steps in my room. Granted, it's not a huge room, but still, you know, I would like to be able to take a few steps <laughs> here. And I basically have just three spots, maybe, where I put my feet in between everything else, and this way I get to my desk and out of the room as well. <laughs> so this is like a path that I have here. <sighs> so I was thinking of making this Organize With Me series where I would go through a lot of categories of items that I have, smaller, larger, fabric, paper, scraps, books, book pages, and loads more mixed media and stuff like that and I would show you how I am planning to organize them and maybe you can also give me some ideas and when this is done or yeah when this is done I can finally make a proper craft room tour because right now well you don't want to see it or maybe you do but I can, uh, there's just no room for me to film I guess a craft room tour and I also I have a few ideas so some of my things are of course already organized and I am going to be sharing those with you as well but I also have some ideas to implement here in my room and yeah I really want to share them with you first and then show you the room I guess <laughs> okay so now I'm thinking how about I use one of these vintage envelopes somewhere oh, this is some writing date or something like that and maybe just tear a piece of this oh this is nice you could maybe tear a piece like that and add it somewhere how about here so we would have two of these envelopes and maybe one more piece somewhere so i'm definitely embracing the golden rule of threes which is exciting yes i like it not sure if you can see but there is all sorts of glitter and gold flakes in my ink <laughs> I, I love working with gold what are they called just flakes i think with you know this like golden flakes that you use glue with and um and they're just beautiful but then i get them everywhere and they are you know, not even, not just in my room, they are also in the bathroom, in the living room, everywhere. <laughs> Which, you know, if you know me, you know it's fine by me. You can have gold everywhere, that's okay. <laughs> so, this will go here. And this nice piece is going in the corner. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so we are already, as you can see, collaging smaller bits. That's awesome. I think I would like one more pink to make it go together. So I'm going to take this the same paper and tear a piece and maybe see if I can fit it anywhere and here you see we go into this zone of covering things up this is what i mentioned i am fine with it um 
I would love if you were fine with it as well because this is just so much fun you guys I am having so much fun right now I think this would look nice and I will also want some of this orange too this is all part of the process so I hope you don't worry too much when you cover up something that you've put uh, or that you put on your page earlier just go with it go with the flow okay so then a piece of this perhaps <clears throat> so we add some orange to the mix and again i'm going to take one maybe slightly larger piece and then one oh i like this how about i let one smaller hmm maybe like that here yeah i like it and then this one is going to be smaller And where would I put it? Here? Yeah, why not? So the smallest pieces that I'm going to be using will be stamps. I will see if I can add some postage stamps. Uh, washi tape, washi tape strips or scraps and uh, little pieces of fabric. here thinking and this one no this i want to so you see here i already have vertical 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 and i'm saying vertical oh, of course it's horizontal so horizontal pieces so to break it apart kind of i want something that will be vertical and here let me see no, I still have vertical uh, horizontal pieces here, so this too can be vertical. So just a small tip to have a more variation within your collage. Mm -hmm. Oh, and did I mention labels? One of the smaller pieces are going to be stamps, labels, washi tape, and fabric scraps. Mm -hmm. Also, let me take a sip of water very quickly. Oh, I also... I have some... Can I find it? Um, oh, yeah. So I told you guys that um, paper is basically like any type of paper you can add to your collage master board is going to be amazing and so I have this box that Sophie sent me with her incredible happy mail and it's full of scraps of handmade paper and I love it so much so how about i pick a few because they have a beautiful texture of course so let me just pick a few that could match the colors here this is incredible absolutely incredible and incredibly generous of her maybe not this is not the orange that i'm looking for this pink could work i have this or this is more similar okay so let's see where we can put these <coughs> So definitely another beautiful, beautiful texture to add to our project. And these are already very nicely torn, <laughs> so I don't need to 
spend too much time on them, preparing them. Maybe like that. And this one I would like to perhaps tear a bit. Mm -hmm. And I could have one more piece somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, here and this one. Um, maybe without actually. Maybe we don't need this little scrap. So I'm going to put it aside. I am going to ink around those so they match everything that we already have going on. And also these have two sides, sort of. This is more um, even and this one is much more textured. So of course <clears throat> I am going to glue them the texture side up because texture, you guys, texture is everything. <laughs> no, it's not. but. I love it. I When I started crafting, I actually started with scrapbooking and project life and I loved making my layout and my little photo, photos and journaling cards. Very dimensional. I loved adding 3D elements to them. And so with paper crafting, I don't have, and journal making, I don't have that many opportunities because of course, when you add um when you add thick thicker things to your journals your journals are quickly going to chunk up <laughs> and um yeah but there are still things like handmade paper that you can use and add texture without adding too much bulk Okay, and for this, because it's so thick, I think I'm actually going to go with a wet glue, if, can, if I can only uh, locate it <laughs> somewhere. Or did I maybe use up my bottle? Uh, did I use it up? Or did I, that, is it still here somewhere hmm. okay i'm going to take please let me let me take a new glue <clears throat> okay so i have this new glue but with new glue i it's a bit liquid I'm going in the beginning, so I'm going to use a tissue to take some of that off and then I can glue my pieces and I love how they look here. They are like a cherry on top of a cake. <laughs> So I'm very excited about this Organize With Me series. I think it's going to motivate me to actually devote time to organize things because, you know, sometimes it's like not my top priority um, because I have projects to finish, videos to film uh, and other stuff <laughs> to do. But if I can film my whole process and share it with you and maybe get some tips from you or maybe give you some tips, that's going to be very much motivating for me to actually do it. And it's, I don't know, it's going to be so much easier to work in my craft room with all of my things when they are organized and easy for me to reach 
and I know where they are. <laughs> so I'm excited. Okay, and this one goes up here. Oh, I love it. I love what we're having here. Okay, so I think it's time to go to our smallest um, elements. And like I said, these are going to be for me postage stamps and also some Tracy labels. So maybe labels first because they are slightly bigger. At least the ones that I am planning to use. So let me find them. These and maybe just maybe i will just use them from this sheet because they are all brown and brown is a nice color nice neutral color to add to this mix i love i especially love the um handmade paper and these uh vintage envelopes aren't they just so interesting to look at <laughs> okay you guys so let me start with cutting some of these labels and I'm going to start with these two because they are nice and big and I'm also going to take maybe these four and we will see if we need more so I'm actually excited to have an evening with cutting this out and I can catch up on some YouTube videos. I haven't been watching crafty or journal YouTube videos for a few months now, which is such a shame, but I was just, I don't know, I think, you know, uh, when I was going through this recovery period after COVID, and I was struggling with my mental health, I just needed to take a step back because instead of giving me pleasure, social media kind of like, I felt more pressure and I felt even worse for not creating myself. But now that I am feeling so much better, I am so excited to watch crafty videos again and to watch some of my favorite youtubers and yeah so this is my plan for this evening or maybe the tomorrow's evening because i don't know if tonight we aren't we may go to see a movie in a movie theater but tomorrow it is <laughs> so i think i'm almost an hour into filming <laughs> so i will try to keep it a little bit brief now and just add those pieces show you what it all looks like and in the next video we, we are going to As, excuse me we are going to uh, go through all the things that you can use your collage masterboard for all the things that I like to use it for okay so I think I like this now let me add some some postage stamps if I can find some that match and I'm sure I can. <laughs> and oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, Sophie, you spoiled me so much. You're an amazing person. Well, everyone, every single person who sends me anything from the kindness of their heart, no matter how large or how small, is amazing and is just making making this community okay 
Oh, I like it with the rainbow. Uniting community, see what I say. Um, this one, maybe. I like the colors here. And so you can see I am again trying to... Oh, this is so sweet. I think I want to save this one to use it in my personal journal. And this one too. With the girl. It would look pretty here, but no, I'm saving it. <laughs> Uh, some of them I have to save for my personal journal because I want to document the wonderful happy mail. I will always like to document any happy mail that I get. Maybe like this. Somewhere up top. Ooh, this is nice. I think this one. And I'm thinking somewhere here. Do I have anything? bigger <clears throat> mm, this one and then one similar one these are stunning Sophie they are so so beautiful I think I like this what do you guys think so I am going to put this aside. So I definitely, as a part, as a part of my organize, organize with me, I would love to make little ephemera folios, little ephemera holders for stamps, for tickets. I want to, I want to make a better use of the ephemera folios that I already have. Okay, and now the last part before I glue these. Where am I? Fabrics, where are my little fabric scraps? Here they are. I want to add some of these only. Let me check. This one is definitely too big, so I'm going to cut it in half. And also in half like that. So Perhaps I could add, add them somewhere like that. Uh, where's the other one here? I might like it here. Maybe like even just a little bit like that. And the third one, still going strong with that threes <laughs> which is great here mm -hmm. now this I love this lace I really like it thinking here and then somewhere here perhaps maybe on top of the stamp actually like this and then one more one more here and then the gold leaf trim I will leave it for last okay so the fabrics I'm going to use no that's what I was talking about why is it so wet I did give it a nice shake maybe wasn't maybe nice enough <laughs> so I'm going to use wet glue to attach the fabrics smoosh it a little bit with my finger so I have a nice thin layer mm -hmm. now I'm trying not to <laughs> move my whole composition too much because I might not be able to reconstruct it which would be absolutely fine because uh, we'll just make a new one <laughs> but I like to try to keep it the same okay 
Um, one thing I did not use here is vellum, but I can use it on the next one. Oh, where is my... Oh, I don't have any more tissues. Okay, so now for the labels and stamps, I think I'm just going to go with the wet glue this time because they are not too thin especially the labels I printed them on lightweight photo cardstock I like this actually mm -hmm. making sure it's glued down nicely especially with the fabric underneath okay this one here I think the most one part of making a collage masterboard or one of because this is very fun what I'm doing just sticking things but is when you cut it up and then you see what you end up with and it's just so cool that you have you know you see how it looks now but when you cut it up into um, into journaling cards for instance it always looks different it gives you just parts of these papers that you have here and makes it so interesting to do. <laughs> okay. So I don't think there is one piece in this collage masterboard that we covered up completely you know even this like music paper this book page they are still visible and they add up to this to the overall effect What else? This one is not glued yet. Pretty. This little one. The gold leaf trim, this one, I get it from AliExpress. Uh, I love it. You guys will see, we will add it maybe in three places again. <laughs> that it will add so much with so little effort maybe I like it like this um, so yes I got it I get it on Aliexpress but I'm pretty sure it's also available on Amazon I don't know I haven't checked um, because I order a lot from Aliexpress Oh, these two are not glued. So it's fine by me if I have to wait a little bit. I'm kind of used to it. Um, but I appreciate that the delivery is free. Because sometimes from Amazon, when I don't go over some price, like a total price, the shipping is really expensive. Okay. <laughs> I think it's so cute. I can't wait to see what we can make out of it. All right, but that's not the end. I am going to take this piece and I think I will just cut three, uh, two more pieces. So we again have this magic three. One and two. And let's see what we, where we can have them. Here I'm thinking here and maybe 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 down 
here? Yeah, I think so. I like it. So I'm using wet glue again to attach these. And you know what, you guys? I think the last thing, or la la last but one, <laughs> um, but one of the last things I'm going to do is I am going to take it to my sewing machine and actually stitch through some of these pieces kind of randomly. I think I would like that. Just have a few stitch lines here and there. And this is going to add interest to it as well. You could, of course, do some hand stitching if you can do this. I can't, but I would like to try one day, definitely. But yeah, machine stitching, I think. Again, more texture and just I like the look. <laughs> so it's funny because I have a sewing machine. I've had my sewing machine for over two years and I am so awful at stitching actual fabric. I would not be able to sew fabric. Paper I'm okay with, but fabric, well, that's a whole new level. <laughs> so much more flimsy than paper and I rarely get it right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, I think this part is done. Let me take it to the sewing machine. Let me add a few pieces. Then we will cut the edges on um, the overlapping edges. And I think we are going to be done. I love how this is turning out so much. I will be back in a sec. Okay, guys, so I have added all of these random stitches and we are almost done so one more thing that i want to use is a stamp so i have this gorgeous wooden uh, text stamp from sophie and i am going to take my archival ink in coffee and again randomly stamp it over everything Oh, and I am not re-inking every time. I want some of those imprints to be more vibrant, more visible, and some less. Maybe more here. And here. Perfect. Love it. I love it. Okay. Now let's clean the stamp on some paper. Okay. And let us clean those edges. They look nice, but when I am making journaling cards, I wouldn't, or tags out of this large masterboard, I wouldn't like to have those flimsy edges sticking out because they would just tear very easily and then it wouldn't look so nice. Okay. Now the very last thing that you guys know I have to do, because it wouldn't be my project if I didn't, <laughs> is going to be add, to add some splatters, gold splatters. Oh, I love it. So to do this, I have just a regular uh, gold mist, like ink in a mist, and I don't use it as it was designed to be used <laughs> but I used I use it like that to add splatters of gold very very randomly everywhere 
both stamping and um, these splatters kind of add a more distressed look you know not a very grungy look of course because i'm not going obviously for grunge but we have this these distressed vintage paper we have some stamping we have some random stitching it all adds to like the overall grungy look of things okay i think i'm done with the splatters so that was my little video introduction for collage master boards let me show you guys up close how this one turned out i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful i hope you found it informative and also fun and if you are still watching i know this video is probably super super long if you are still watching let me know if you are here let me know if you enjoyed it and also please let me know in the comments if there are any other things that you think would look great on collage master boards or that you yourself like to use and in the next video we are going to be cutting this beauty up although i mean it's so gorgeous i could um, hang it on my f um, wall <laughs> but I am going to be cutting this up making tags and making journaling cards and pockets I will show you everything you can make with these so um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you guys very very soon in the next video bye